I'm making tiramisu today, and I'm going to be making it with amaretti cookies. I've made many recipes for tiramisu, but this one's my favorite. I learned this at a Tuscan farmhouse when I was in Italy, and it's by far the best. I'm adding a twist to it by using amaretti cookies, which are almond based. They're not that difficult to find. Take a look online if you can't find them in your local grocery store or your Italian bakeries. I think you're gonna really love this version. You'll need a few cups of perked espresso coffee, and then you're going to add a few tablespoons of granulated sugar to this. I'm adding a couple of tablespoons of rum, or you could use amaretto liqueur. And now I also have one tablespoon of an almond extract. Make sure to stir these up. There are five eggs in this and they're extra large and I'm going to separate them. I want the yolks in one bowl and I want the egg whites in the next bowl. When you separate an egg, just drop it into your hand very carefully and the white will fall through the cracks of your fingers and you'll have the egg yolk just separated and perfect. You're going to beat your egg whites now and you need a whisk attachment. Add them into a bowl and whip these until they're totally fluffy white and they're so stiff that when you turn your bowl upside down, they're not going to go anywhere. Now get your whipped egg whites out of the bowl and put them aside into another bowl. You're going to use them later on. I didn't even wash out the bowl. I just wiped it out and that was fine. I'm now adding my five egg yolks and I'm going to whip these up till they're light and fluffy and I'm going to add my sugar. Add five tablespoons of sugar and you can add that all at once if you want. So really get this light and lemony looking and a little bit fluffy. So once that's done, I have my mascarpone cheese and I'm going to add that at about one tablespoon at a time. It's really very firm and you want to mix it in until this is going to be nice and creamy and smooth. This takes a little bit of time, so just be patient and keep mixing until you don't see any bumps of the mascarpone in there. You can see how creamy and fluffy this is. So now we're going to take both our egg whites and our mascarpone cream and we're going to mix them together. And I like to add about one third of my egg whites at a time. You just want to cut in and be very delicate. You really don't want to deflate this. So carefully use a spatula and cut through the center and then swing around all the sides of your egg whites. Before you know it, you'll have a beautiful, smooth mixture. And then you're going to add the other third in and do the same thing. And once that's all nice and smooth and you don't see any egg whites, you're going to add the last third of your egg whites and just do the same thing. Mix it up really well. And here you are with a beautiful tiramisu filling. I have two packages of these Amaretti cookies. So the first thing you're going to do is get your 9 by 12 container and put that aside. If you've never seen an Amaretti cookie, this is what they look like. They're small and they're very crunchy. So let's get our coffee potion put aside and also our mascarpone cream. And we're going to start building this. I have some tongs because it's easier for me to soak my cookie in the coffee. If you were using a traditional lady finger, you would do the exact same thing. So now I'm starting to make rows of my soaked Amaretti cookies. I didn't soak them for very long. Um, they still had a crunch to them later. So now here we are with our mascarpone cream and you're going to add 50% of that bowl. I like to place it in corners first. It makes it so much easier to spread. So just take big spoonfuls and throw them all over the top. And I have an offset spatula. I love these. And this is gonna help me smooth it out. Make sure to cover every cookie. Once this is done, now we're going to go with our second bag of Amaretti cookies. Do the same deal, dip them. You're going to have a lot of extra coffee left over. I'd rather have that extra coffee than run out of it at last minute. Now that you have your first layer done, you're ready to add the remainder of the mascarpone cream on top. Just get it all on top of there, get every little bit, and take your spatula and really smooth it out. It's time to put your tiramisu into the refrigerator. 
You'll definitely want a fine mesh sieve here. This will make sure that you get a nice soft powdering of your cocoa. So take your sieve and I have some unsweetened cocoa. You don't want it sweetened. Um, it can be a dark cocoa or just a medium one like this. And the thing that people do a lot is they put too much cocoa on the tiramisu and when they take a bite, they almost choke. So I'm gonna just do a little light scattering everywhere, okay? And really just take your spoon and move your sieve around so that you don't overpack this. You do want to get everyone happy and make sure cocoa is on every part of the tiramisu. I saved a few of the Amoretti cookies and you can decorate a little bit on top. I wouldn't overkill. I think maybe three would be really pretty. And that can tell you what kind it is. Just cut sections of your tiramisu for your guests or for yourself and use a spatula and here it is. Boy, is this delicious. Thanks for watching and find the recipe at Diane's World Cooking on Facebook.